Let's continue making our lights for our scene. In this video, we will create the pool lights along the side right here. So go ahead and place your cursor and then press Shift A. We'll add in a mesh and then circle. Rotate the circle 90 degrees. So press R, X, 90, and then enter. Then go into edit mode by pressing tab and then fill in a face. So press the F key to fill in a face just like that. We'll go back into object mode and scale this down. Next, go into side view by pressing three on your number pad and then we'll position it inside, inside the pool area. So right about here, go into wireframe by pressing Z and then wireframe. You can move it by pressing G and place it right on the side of our pool. Then go back into edit mode. We're gonna be doing a little bit of modeling. So go ahead and go into vertice mode, which is this button right here and press E to extrude. Extrude it out just a little bit, then left click then press I to inset. We'll drag it in just slightly and you can see what it looks like, just like that. Then press E to extrude one more time and drag it backwards. Now that we've done that, let's place our cursor right on this mesh and then add in a lamp. So press Shift S and go cursor to select it. And you can see our cursor is now right there. Then press Shift A and go to light and then point lamp. The size is a little bit big, so I'll go ahead and drag the size of it down until it fits the width of that interior, just like that. We'll go ahead and press period on our number pad to zoom in on it. And then I'll press G, Y, and drag it out till it's in the front. The strength of this, I will set to five. For now, we might change this later. And then for the color, I'm going to give it a nice blue color somewhere around here. Let's go into camera view and see how bright this is. So press zero on your number pad. Then I'm gonna press Control B and draw a box around the light. And now if we press Z and go into render view, whatever is inside this box will only render. And whatever is outside, you can see everything is not rendering. It's only rendering what's inside. So now let's zoom in and see what this looks like. I think that's a pretty good light source. We don't really need to change it. Maybe go up to like, let's go with six, maybe just a little bit brighter. And I think that looks good. Now let's duplicate this and place it along our pool. So go back into wireframe by pressing Z and go into wireframe and then select both the, the circle that we created and the lamp. You can press B middle mouse button to draw a box around this to deselect it. And now let's position it. Go into top view by pressing seven and we'll zoom out. Press G, X and move this just slightly. Then press Alt D X and place it right in the middle. Then press Alt D one more time, X and move it along. You wanna make sure that these are spaced out uh, evenly. So maybe this one actually needs to, I'll deselect that. Maybe this one needs to move over just a little bit, right about there. And I think that is pretty good. Now let's duplicate these and place them on the other side as well. So we'll go into this view, press B and draw a box around all of them. You can deselect this, deselect that one. Now if we go into, oh, hold on, we need to also select that lamp right there. Go into top view, press Alt D, X, actually Y, and drag it down. Then press R and rotate it all the way around. If you hold Control, you can snap it to 180 degrees. And then we'll position it, so go into this view and make sure it's in line. So go into solid view, G, Y, and drag it back just so that these are peeking through just like that. Now if we go back into camera view and we press control B and draw a box around the entire pool, then Z, wireframe, we should be able to see all of the lights. And that is looking pretty good.